Back in the 60s, this guy called Harry Harlow ran an experiment that went like this. Take one baby chimp, isolate it from its mother, scare the crap out of it with a loud noise and give it the option of running towards either a fur mummy with flashing lights for eyes but no milk supply or toward a crude wire mummy with a milk teat. The baby would run to the fur mummy but after a while get hungry and switch to the wire one. And for this grotesque banality, Harlow was praised, but I digress. I want to make an analogy with the human species and its response to climate change. After all, we are all monkeys underneath a thin layer of cerebral cortex. We are riven with contradictions, papered over fears and uncertainties. When the very loud noise of climate change happened, back in the late 80s and onwards, some of us ran straight to the comfort of fur mummy. It's not happening, it's a hoax. Even if it is happening, it'll be beneficial. Some, although it was a lot less comfortable, went to the wire mummy, where the food, you know, facts and stuff in this analogy, were. Over time, more and more people have come over to the wire mummy of fact-based policy. There are still some who stick with their initial decision. That's understandable, if somewhat sad. Some seem to feel that the loss of face involved in walking from fur mummy to wire mummy is too much to bear. Okay, but please, stop doing that angry monkey thing of hurling shit at those of us on the wire monkey.